wants the gold, then let him go now. Let him go. All those girls. All those. All those. What is up, family? This is Rebel Glam, and I'm here again to talk to you. I tried. I did try to blog before, but I did it the day after Kadoom Day. I was fairly hurt. I mean, you know, in a good way. I wasn't popped down, but I was coming off that good stuff. And I did a lot of things wrong with the blog now that I look back at it. So I can't, <laughs> I, I can't put it up. Anyway, I know that I ain't got to tell Wuna that it might not be the best idea to jump before your breast out. You know, at the end of the day, there's a whole lot of people that like worthlessness, that think to each his own, that do not want their mother, their sister, nor their woman to do it, that can tell you to do it. And a lot of women that you would not see doing it that would tell you to go along and do it. But at the end of the day, I think that if you got less attention with your breasts out, you wouldn't do it. So it's something you're doing for attention. And you can Google um, women with issues with attention and you can see, you know, all the things. I ain't got no time for that. I am a psychiatrist and I've decided to cut down the length of my blogs. So, all I can say, if you can bother to blog with your bubby, I mean to jump with your bubbies out, at least make sure you get some proper body paint do, so that when you get the attention that you wanted, it's not people saying bad things to you. Also, I would like you to remember hepatitis is real, and that if somebody juck you and you fall down, you ain't got no protection on them there, that might not be the best thing in the world. And our crop over is a bit rougher than other carnivals as far as the juts is concerned. Though a friend of mine did inform me that although the Brazilians only samba, when they get down the road, sometimes they have live sex. So I don't think I will be emulating them when I put on a costume. However, I did have a great time. I would like to tell the people that does um, control, I ain't sure who it is in this case, control the trucks going up. The trucks going up and coming back down was one of the best parts of a jump back in the day for me. What's this thing about the truck going up and stopping and then telling you, go along back and get your food now with no music, a big bunch of drunk people, no music, no direction. They just got to go back and look for the bar and get their own food. I think that can be improved upon. I also think that some of the people in the band who were saying that if they didn't know somebody, it was hard for them to get a drink. I think that's ridiculous because people paid their money to be in your band. However, all of those things are side notes. I hear that for there was bear bashment. I did not get on the road, but next year I like I can go um, test out for the action. But I did have a good time. Kadoom at day. Uh, I was with my friend who's a Zulu, and we went, you know, next to Zulu for a while. The band Zulu International, which is new. I thought they did a nice job. I thought the band looked good. There was a lot of elements that I had liked about Zulu. Um, even though I didn't jump in it, I um, I just was affiliated with the band. Let's call it affiliation. Um, so I was next to it for a little while. Um, but outside of that, let's talk about my real issue. I would like to say something, and I make no apologies. I hope that you study it and get where I'm coming from. Women who try to change and or trap men only end up changing and trapping themselves. Sometimes we want something our man don't want it, so we decide that we can do it anyway. Like, get pregnant. We do it with other things too, but pregnancy is a big trap that women put on men. We call it a jacket here in Barbados. Let me see how much time I got. Okay, good. No, we got to stop this change and trap business. When you come into a relationship with someone, I'm not saying that you don't want to grow with this person and that y'all don't want to become better. Together as a unit, both deciding to grow and to be better. But if you went into a relationship with a man who you think is mediocre, hoping to make him great, number one, you're wasting time. Get with somebody who's whole. Don't get with somebody who you're now trying to complete. That shows incompleteness within the self. Because why would a, would a person who knows who they are be attracted um, to someone who is still need who still needs all that work, 
why not tell the person in that case, yes, I am interested in you, but I believe that you need work. And allow the person then to decide if they want to do that work or not. Because you trying to get a big man to change, sister, it is not going to happen. The truth of the matter is that is one of the biggest difference between men and women. A lot of women change for men, but you don't see a lot of men change for women. And I think changing for men is nonsense too. you got to be yourself and be happy with yourself and then get with someone who's accepting of you and two of you all grow together. This thing about trapping men or trying to make sure that you've got some sort of insurance upon a man so that he can't really leave the situation all he wants is nonsense too i think one of our biggest issues is that we have this idea of done and done and done and all the time maybe we need to move out of this idea of breaking up and come into the idea that commitment is to stay committed then in the commitment if things are going wrong you work on them you don't just break up so then women would not feel so desperate to keep a man. However, whatever reason, sweetheart, be whole on your own and be happy with yourself. Because this thing will keep a man. <coughs> Excuse me. This thing will only cause you stress and get you a little pain. You understand what I mean? Pain in that stress is a killer. Something can go wrong with you in life. And you need someone who can be there for you when you're having your issues. You don't need somebody... Who you know have to wonder if they're going to be around because they're with you for all the wrong reasons. I would like to say, you know, happy summer to you guys. I love you guys a lot. And I'm glad that you guys have been asking me about blogging and sticking with me. Um, I've been doing lots of stuff. I know some of you would have seen me. I've been on TV. I've been doing economics. I did more mid-morning mix as well. Um, and I've been having some fun with my cooking. I'm actually thinking of doing a monthly food blog. Um well vlog video blog and uh i would like to ask you guys to definitely pay attention see what's going on you know how it is with me i can still talk about the things that i think about but you know i was on tv for two seconds and the first thing i had was a stalker you know it's very hard sometimes you know uh to be a woman in this society with any level of looks at all and even the ugly ones like they get issues i think um we need to reprogram ourselves so that when we have children we can reprogram them so that when they become adults they don't they can let go of some of these behaviors that are becoming so common stalkers never used to be a common thing people get your number because of business and calling your phone and talking a bunch of foolishness and texting in the middle of the night and all sorts of things you know barbados Man, that we leave these things from from America and all these big countries that got enough people. We ain't really got that much people. Let's all try to get along. Anyway, as I said before, you know, I don't want things for myself. I don't want things for other women that I don't want for myself or for my child. Because I believe in a holistic type of love. So I am wishing no woman to go down the road in no bra to hold for no strangers to hold she run she waist and jerk she when God then I wouldn't want it for myself. I see a lot of people boy plays trying to give each his own, but the truth is when you look at them they have standards. The universe is built on standards. The earth is built on standards. The sun and the moon and everything the control things going on here. There's standards everywhere you look. And if you do not find a lifestyle or a religious belief or some sort of formula that is gonna make sure that you keep your standards hi you're always gonna fail because if we as emotional creatures just work off of how we feel we are gonna only do nonsense sometimes people speak to me about my relationship and i find it funny because they always treat me as though i might be lucky because my relationship is still working and i've been in it for a number of years i find that to be so disrespectful relationships don't work because of luck relationships work because of hard work effort and humility Sometimes you gotta set salt, sometimes you gotta say sorry, and most of all, most of all, most of all, you cannot give up. You have to love a person enough to want to try to work with them. I feel that I am blessed, but I also feel that I work for every blessing that I got, and I'm still working. So I want to remind you guys, keep working at things. If you see somebody, you meet somebody, and that person willing to go through some shit with you, don't get rid of that person, don't hurt that person. Try your best and if you make a mistake, say sorry and move forward because things right over there.